this is the thing though, okay? They are very, very intent on defining everything that they want to control as a public health issue. Which I'm confused because I thought it was infrastructure. Right? <laughs> what, so what's the difference between infrastructure and a public health emergency? Well, not a damn thing. <laughs> That's, I mean, ultimately it's about things that they want to control. That's what it comes down to. That's a favorite tactic of the Marxist left, to refer to everything they dislike as a public health issue so they can justify their demand to control it. That's what this all is. Now, there's not an issue with an inanimate object that is illegally carried and used in the commission of a felony. And a mental health issue is quite different from the discussion, the argument that we're, the debate that we're having over firearm law. I was having a discussion with friends over the weekend about specifically, you know, what do you do if someone is a, is a danger and, and you are concerned that they're going to hurt themselves or, you know, anything else? There's, there are so many legal options. Here's the, and, this, and that's one of the reasons I was telling a friend of mine, this is why I don't, I never liked the red flag or, or, or ERPO, which is the extreme risk protection order, because, you know, civil commitments, you know, th while they're not perfect, they do more to protect due process and actually look at the cause of what's happening than red flags do. People who are genuinely interested in, in, in the issue of mental uh, wellness and mental health and making it to where someone who is mentally unstable to the point of, of being dangerous to themselves or others, uh, those individuals, you don't solve that issue or address it with a red flag, which does, which only focuses on guns. It does not focus on mental health or anything. There's no mental health evaluation. There is nothing. Whereas something like a civil commitment, you have to, it, first off, it has to come by way of people who are uh, uh, credibly acquainted with your mental health issue or with you. It can't just be any Tom, Dick, or Harry who's going to revenge report you. And you actually get due process. You get to talk to a judge. You get a mental evaluation by a trained professional. All of this stuff happens before penalties are enforced. They, it does more to address mental wellness and mental health and the danger aspect than red flags ERPA, which only focus on a gun. Because if someone, for instance, if they're hell-bent on killing themselves, you're just taking away one tool, but what about the rest of them out there? That's the whole point. It, mental health is a, is, a, is a public issue separate from criminals driving the crime rate using legal objects in an illegal manner. It's just weird that they would that they would ask him that. But you see what they're doing. And you see why that everyone's focusing on because the, right now they're trying to create in the public's mind this this panic that look at everything that's happening here. Look at it. Very dangerous stuff. This is a public health issue. Very much so.